people walk in like damn they feel like they just walk in a candy shop like like there's nobody watch that compares to this one this will have you smelling so fire trust me What is up you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave Monet and as you can tell by the title, today's video we are going to be talking about my in-depth hygiene routine. As women, our feminine hygiene is very important and it's something that we should keep up with on a daily basis. So I'm going to be telling you guys all the products that I use, all the products that I don't use, and all the products that are new to my collection that I love as well. So let's not waste no time and get straight into the video. So we're going to start from top to bottom and just work our way through all the products that I use. So first we're gonna be starting with oral hygiene. You cannot have hot breath every day talking to people all up in people's face and your breath is hot, stinking, smelling like the trash can that you got in your kitchen. Like we're just not going for that. Oral hygiene I feel like is pretty basic. I don't feel like you really need too much. Of course you need you a toothbrush. I got this electric toothbrush from Amazon. It was like $20 or something like that. And you really don't need a high-tech toothbrush. Honestly, I kind of like the regular toothbrush more. I've only been using this for about a week now. And it's cool, like it's okay, but the vibration is strong. Like, you sure this meant to be a toothbrush? Cause, <laughs> but no, it still is, it does the job that it needs to do. And it comes with the little interchanging tops as well. Um, and it has multiple different settings. Which I don't even use all those. I literally just use clean and then done. So you really don't need a high tech toothbrush. Any toothbrush might work just fine. And then this is a toothpaste that I use. It's Colgate. Um, it's not the best toothpaste. I've definitely had better. I feel like it doesn't really leave me with the freshness that I really want. But I mean, it does the job, so I'm not complaining. I also use a tongue scraper to scrape off my tongue. Honey, your tongue should not be as white as snow. Like, if your tongue is white, you need to start cleaning it because that's where a lot of bad breath and bacteria stays at. So, even if you brush your teeth and you floss and you mouthwash and all that, if your tongue still got all that stuff on it, your mouth ain't clean. Like, no. And then, lastly, for our oral care, I use their breath, y'all. When I tell y'all this stuff, is the truth like I'm so mad that I waited so long to get this no other mouthwash compares to this one it really leaves my breath feeling fresh all day long like it leaves my mouth feeling fresh and I don't feel that alcohol taste that I feel with the other mouthwashes that I have tried in the past so yeah definitely who, who made this who made this Dr. Harold Katz Cots whatever you did an amazing job like this is the truth y'all if y'all haven't switched and y'all still be using that other stuff go ahead and switch to this and now like don't wait no longer i'm mad at myself for waiting so long to switch but i love this stuff even though it's a little bit pricey i definitely think that it's worth the extra money now moving on to my armpits so i no longer use deodorant so what i use as my natural deodorant is limes y'all so it's not an antiperspirant but it does eliminate the odors in your armpits it can leave them a bit dry so i would say if you're going to use this then go in with some coconut oil after you use this and you know do you do so i have to use this for a while you won't even have to use it every day like i probably used it every day straight for about a good week and a half and then there was one day that i didn't put it on and when i tell you there was no odor whatsoever like there was no odor now it doesn't leave you smelling like limes but it does eliminate every type of smell that you would have my auntie used this as well i told her about it i put her on and she said that she worked out and she didn't use it for well a good two days she sweat all of that and there was no smell whatsoever so if you are looking for a natural deodorant and looking to switch then i would definitely go for these lines i do still have deodorant as a backup just in case one day because i do still get like uh, what if the lime don't work you know what i'm saying i do still have me some deodorant as a backup but i haven't had to use it yet and i've been using this for about a good two to three weeks now so i would say definitely go for some lime next we're gonna go into body care but before i 
get into the products that I use. You gotta make sure that you are taking care of your body from the inside out. I don't know if y'all ever heard the saying, you are what you eat, but that is real. You are what you eat. So if you are eating fish and you're eating processed food and you're eating red meats and all that, that can affect your smell overall. And that comes to your breath, that comes to your armpits, that comes to your down there area. It affects everything, even your skin. Like it can affect all that stuff. So make sure that you are eating your leafy greens and your fruits. And even if you don't like greens, I don't like greens either. There is a supplement, it's a powder that you can put in your drinks, which I haven't gotten it yet, but I definitely do want to try it out because I'm not really a big fan of vegetables. But make sure that you are taking care of the inside of your body as well as the outside. Now getting on to the products that I use. So my holy grail is this Dove Heat Moisture. And when I tell y'all this is my all-time favorite body wash, like there is no body wash that compares to this one for me. It leaves me feeling clean and it leaves my skin feeling so moisturized and so smooth. Like I love this product so, so, so much. I use this every day in the shower and I can layer any scent on top that I want to because it has a very neutral scent to where I don't have to worry about putting any type of scent on top of it. Now when I want to smell like vanilla, I will go in with my Nourishing Silk. Now, this isn't really a vanilla scent. It doesn't really give vanilla, but I feel like it goes really well with my vanilla products, so I do use this one for when I want it to smell like vanilla. And one of my new finds is this Method Body Berry Balance. And I use this, I've only used this one time, but it did leave my skin feeling really smooth. I don't feel like it left the scent on my skin that much, but I've only tried it once, like I said, so I will try it again and give y'all another review. But it did leave my skin feeling really good, and I use this for when I want to go for a berry scent. Now moving on to body scrubs that I use. I love this Dove Exfoliant Body Polish. This one smells so amazing. Like, I absolutely love this product. I'm not big of a scrub fan. I really don't use scrub like that, but when I do, this is one of my go-tos. It smells so amazing and it also leaves my skin feeling really soft as well and it's a great product to go on top of my vanilla scents. Now for one of my newer pickups, I picked up this Zotic Bloom and I love this product. I've tried tea, I always want to say tea tree. I've tried Tree Hut scrubs before. I have their cotton candy one, which is cool, but it wasn't really one of my favorites. But recently picking this one up, I really, really, really like this one. I feel like it also left my skin feeling really moisturized. And of course, it has an amazing scent to it and it goes really well layering on top of my Method Body. These two together are great products to layer on top of each other. Now, moving on to my lotions. For my vanilla scents, I use cocoa butter, the coconut hydration. And this isn't a vanilla scent, but it gives me a coconut scent. And I also use this with coconut oil as well. I feel like coconut and vanilla kind of go hand in hand for me. This plus coconut oil, girl, what have you smelling so bomb. I've gotten so many compliments of how I smell like cocoa butter, how I smell like coconut, how I smell like vanilla, and I smell so good, baby. Like, I've gotten a lot of compliments off of this one. I use this on my legs. I don't use this on my upper body because I have sensitive skin and it did break my skin out. So I only use this on my lower body and my feet but this is a really great lotion as well it did leave my skin feeling super duper moisturized and it leave my skin feeling soft and it smells amazing i love the vanilla cashmere smell i also have the pink one i think it's pomegranate and that one smells really good too but this vanilla this vanilla is fire y'all like it smells so fire now going back to my berry scent, what I use for the berry is I use the Pomegranate Raspberry EOS Lotion. And again, I only use this on my lower body because it does not work good for my upper body. But this one smells super duper good too and it really goes well with the berry scent that I go for. This one has a lot more of a sweeter smell. So if you really want to smell like candy, I've got a lot of compliments off this one too, how I smell like candy. Um, and this is how I do it. And for my newer pickup, I got this Pomegranate Beloved Body Cream. And this goes really well. It pairs really well with this one. I use this on my upper body. This worked really well for me. It didn't break 
me out or anything and it also moisturizes really well and this will have you smelling like candy girl like people walk in like damn they feel like they just walk in a candy shop like this will have you smelling so fire trust me i've gotten hella compliments on oh you smell good you smell like candy like yes me yo yes i do <laughs> all right y'all so i'm editing this video right now and i didn't say what i was using before i started using the beloved and actually the beloved i feel like that scent didn't really last that long it kind of wore off pretty fast but this stuff right here this um winter candy apple from bath and body works is fire like this is my favorite lotion of all time and y'all can see i've almost used the whole bottle like i definitely gotta give me some more but i showered like around eight o'clock and it's 12 o'clock right now so that's a good four or five hours ago and i still smell like this lotion like this is the truth so go ahead and get on it now moving on to perfumes for the vanilla scent i use victoria's secret coconut passion this one can't really explain the smell it doesn't really give me coconut nor does it really give me vanilla but it gives me like a really subtle sweet smell that i feel like goes really well with the other vanilla scented product and i also use this other vanilla perfume that i got from amazon which i don't have with me right now i left it at somebody's house but uh, i'm gonna put a picture up right here and that smells so good like it's in a little bottle but a little bit goes a long way and it'll really like layering all those on top of each other will have you smelling so good y'all like trust me you will be smelling like coconut slash vanilla all day long and people will give you so many compliments when you walk past now for my berry slash candy scent I use the Victoria's Secret Bombshell. Along with this one, I use the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. And this is from Bath & Body Works. And these two really go good together. I like to layer my perfumes as well as my lotions and my body washes. And I feel like all of that together just really makes the smell last all day long. And it enhances your smell as well. Now moving on to the food care. What I use for my down there area is a bar of Dove soap. I use the original kind. And this does wonders for my down there area. I know some girls just use water. I really don't be feeling clean down there when I only use water. So I make sure that I use me a bar of Dove soap. And I do not go inside of the vaginal area. I clean the outside and I clean the inside of the lips. Do not go inside of the vagina because it cleans itself. So you don't even need to go all up in there like that. But as far as cleaning the outside goes, I do use this. And I use my scrubby glove as well. I make Make sure I get all of that bacteria, all of that dirt, all of that sweat away from the day. Especially when I'm on my period, girl, you gotta make sure that you're using some soap. So I use these two for my down there area. Also for my down there area, when I am done taking my shower, I make sure that it is dry down there because when you leave water or when it is still wet, it can create a lot of bacteria and you can get a yeast infection from that. So I make sure that she is completely dry before I put on my underwear or my pants or whatever, just to make sure that I eliminate all chances of getting any type of infection down there. Another topic that I didn't really hit is your clothes. You can be smelling good from your hair to your armpits to the rest of your body. You can be smelling good all the way around, but if your clothes stink, then baby, you're gonna stink. Like, that's gonna ruin the whole vibe of the good smells that you got going on. So make sure that you are washing your clothes, period. Let's just start with that. Make sure you are washing your clothes. And also you can use a fabric softener to keep the fabrics off and to add another good smell to your clothes as well. Don't leave your clothes in the washer for too long and make sure that your clothes are dry when you are drying them because if they are not, then it can leave a mildewy smell and that smell is really hard to get off and you will be smelling it under your nose all day. I hate when my clothes smell like mildew like i hate it hate it hate it so make sure that you are drying your clothes properly after you are washing them so that you don't even gotta deal with that smell so that is all the tips that i have for this video i hope you all enjoyed if you did you already know what to do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can see every time that i post also make sure you that you hit that like button and comment so i can see who my supporters are because i love connecting with my supporters and follow me on my socials if you are not following me there already Thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.